Hey fam, what's up? Black Root back with you for another Top Stuck video. Uh, quick update, I'm doing a show on Benzinga with Hot Stock Sluke called Ruel Report. And the report is basically, um, it's basically for new investors, but um, we do uh, Top Stock picks at the end of the show. So uh, please come on over and the show is all about you guys. So let me know what you guys want. I rewatched the show for comments, so uh, let's just get into this top stocks video. Okay, so this week we're going to be watching um, a few different stocks, and um, the ones basically that we're going to be watching are right here. So we're going to be watching um, the 5G space, a company called GSAT. They do a lot of work with Nokia. They just did some work with Nokia by doing a 5G improvement of the port of Seattle. Let's see, where is it here? Oh, also, they just uh, jumped 21% as uh, Qualcomm included the five um, band N53 in a new 5G modem. That's awesome. Let's check that out. In so Qualcomm is including whoop, free article limit, whatever. So we got the information that we needed. Qualcomm is including their uh, 5G band in their new modem. That's awesome news because Qualcomm is humongous. And uh, where is that information about the port of Seattle? Okay, I, I know they did some inf some work with uh, Nokia for port of Seattle. I just can't find it right now. Um, so yeah, so they've been trending lately, as we can see here. We go out to the one month. They start at a dollar, trended all the way up to 240, 242. So that's going to be one we'll look out for. And then we have RBBN here. Their earnings are coming up. I am really bullish on this company. If you just look at their um, earnings, almost every year they've increased their earnings. If you just look at that. Started in the like... 50s and stuff of millions to 100 million to 200 million. So, looking for big things here for them. Their earnings are next week. And to me, they haven't run up too much when you say, like, in relation to going to their earnings. So, um, I'm looking for it to continue and I'm holding through earnings. And here's a company I found Broadwind. There used to be a called Broadwind Energy, but if you look at their synopsis here, they provide technology value products to energy mining infrastructure customers in the United States of America, and it operates through three segments, heavy fabrica fabrications, can't talk today, segment manufactures towers for wind turbines, specifically large and heavier wind towers, and uh, gearing segment engineers builds and remanufactures precision gears and gearing systems for oil, gas, wind, energy, mining, steel, and other applications. So they're in a lot of my hot top sectors. Like their company just covers them all. Uh, clean energy, they cover. Um, they cover EV. They cover... Um, 5G, so like I'm really, really bullish on this company, and um, if you look at their last earnings, so first of all, they've been bullish the last six months, if you look at that, but if you look at their earnings, they've been increasing as well for the last, what, eight quarters. They've been increasing their value, so really wish these things had. I went and checked it. They don't have options, but I'm so, so bullish on this company because it covers 
nearly every area that's going to be needed for um, this new regime in America. So I'm really going to grab a lot of them. Uh, then we have our precious metals. Precious metals are a sneaky EV play. That's why I'm also loving the Broadwind uh, covers mining. So we got the company Nake. I've been on them for a while. Um, they've been trending from for the last month. Basically, the um, state of Alaska and their company and their parent company are appealing a decision to not grant them a uh, permit in Alaska. Oh, and this is this is really good. We have a big block trade here of 840k shares at 91 cents. So usually that lets us know that something is going on when you have a huge um, block trade like that. And we have um, and we have a, a an analyst maintaining a buy and raising the price target to one dollar and twenty cents. So, really high on this. Um, they say that their uh, mining deposit is one of the largest in um, North America. So, that puts them in line with uh, MP Materials. So, um, MP Materials is like a thirty dollar stock. So, really, really looking for this one to do well. So we got United States Anatomy Corp. They also are a really good um, mining company, and they're a lithium play. So, and as you can see, they've been um, trending lately. And um, by the way, um, JMac, a really good um, investor, he has a video on uh, mining plays as well. You might want to go check him out. But yeah, um, these 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 two plays are not in his video, but this play is Denson Mines. They're a uranium play. So uranium, if you look at all the top stocks lately, um, uranium has really been increasing in value. And I'm believing that they're going to need uranium for the EVs, and they possibly might need it for some power, uh, some of the clean energy stuff. So... Really looking at these two mining plays. Now, also, something that the market hasn't really caught on to yet is there is a semiconductor shortage. And um, I work in engineering. We tried to get some semiconductors um, from Lattice, actually, around December, and we couldn't get them. We thought it had to do with Christmas, but actually, no. There's a semiconductor shortage all, all around right now. And it's not just in gaming. It's, it's, it's everywhere. Gaming, autos. So I'm really bullish on semiconductor companies. And these, the two, these are two of the ones that I'm really high on. Lattice Semiconductors, who has earnings next week. And then Ace V, which is a SPAC. And um, so you can see it's trending lately, but I'm, I'm really bullish on this company because I don't think the market's figured out yet that semiconductors is a big thing. Um, but that's also why I like SPACs. The SPACs are kind of all about the trends and sometimes they're early, a little bit earlier on the trends than the market is. But the market catches up and they make tons of money. So this is this is one of ones I'm on. And this one I got from Hot Stocks Luke. Tower Semiconductor, if you look at them, they have their earnings coming up next week too. They've ran a lot. They might be ones that I'm going to think might drop on the earnings because they've run up just so much. Um... So I would probably be afraid to hurt, hold these during earnings because they just keep running. But it's definitely a play that I'm interested in. If it drops during earnings, I, I might uh, pick up a play. Full disclosure, um, I'm not in Tower Semiconductor, but Luke likes it. And um, if you just look at the chart, I, I see why he likes it. It is just trending its butt off for the last year. but um. I would be hesitant to hold during earnings, and I might look for this 
to pick up some if it if it drops during earnings. So, um, yeah, full disclosure, I'm in like pretty much all of these except for uh, this one right here, Tower. Um, okay, so AMD also I'm really bullish on because they do a lot of things with ARM processors. And if you look at the latest ARK Invest, um, they did like a, a informational like PDF. They're big on FPGAs and ARM, ARM stuff. So AMD is big on ARM stuff. They're big on GPUs, which ARK Invest is also big in. And they also own the company Xilinx which is also a, a really good FPGA developer. Our, our, my company uses FPGAs and we use Lattice and Xilinx. Those, those are the two we use. So AMD owns Xilinx. So I'm really, I'm really big on uh, AMD coming up here. And um, this one, I want to kind of get on a dip. Uh, if you listen to Dead Inside, he's a really good guy to listen to as well. I'm going to give you as many resources as I can give you guys because I think um, you can never have too many resources. Watch me, watch him, watch J Mac, watch all these guys, watch Own the Chaos. They do really good work on um, earnings plays too. Like, watch everybody because <clears throat> I'm all about you guys getting to uh, financial freedom. But um, Dead Inside, he did, did a couple videos on these guys. And um, after he did videos on it, it kind of popped up, and now it's uh, pulled back a lot. So I think I'm kind of looking to get this on a dip. I'm going to see if it goes down lower. But if it comes up to like 68 and lets me know that it's finished with this dip, I might end up buying. Because the next little resistance we have here is like, like 60. So... If it goes up to 68, I'm buying. I'm, I'm really uh, bullish on this company because they're changing the way that imaging is done. Usually imaging is done with this lead tubing and it's like this really expensive process and they've gotten it down to a digital process. They're currently in the, um, in the testing phases with this, but if they can, um, if they can get it to working, it's going to make imaging so, so, so much cheaper which will put a lot of um, will, which will put a lot of companies um, behind the eight ball here um, because their machines are going to be so much more um, so much more expensive than Nano X imaging. So um, this is one I'm putting on watch to buy on the dip. And here we have CleanSpark. CleanSpark had great earnings. However, since they've gone all the way up to forty here, they dumped. And it kind of looked like there there was a chance that they wouldn't dump. I, I didn't have um I I got rid of my Krillian Spark, but um I wish I kept it down here when I was at seven. But anyways, um it just dipped here on earnings, and um I'm looking to buy like I, I already bought some. I'm like I don't care if it drops lower. Um, if you look at their latest earnings. So they're up to two million in revenue, and if you look at the earnings and the guidance, let's go down here. This is why I love Benzinga Pro. Check out Benzinga Pro. I'm an affiliate, and of course, I do a show on their channel. Uh, if you want to check it out, I have a link in my in my uh, comments in the description. Um, first two weeks are free. Love Benzinga Pro, by the way. So they beat. They beat um, earnings per share and they beat revenue by like twofold. They were under a million and they went up to 2.26 million. This company also works with Tesla um, on energy things because they they build um, CleanSpark builds uh, microgrids, and then they're saying that their quarter two sales. They're saying uh, CleanSpark reaffirms that for year uh, 21 sales guidance, 30 million plus says backlog as of February 12th. Okay, so 
they got 30 million plus backlog guys so um i'm so mad i let go of my sevens in this company but you know what i'm gonna pick up some shares because i know i know it's way destined for for more than uh 28 dollars love this company clean spark pick it up so we have Light in the Box Holdings here. These are a couple just random companies I'm showing you. Um, Light in the Box Holdings, they're a Chinese uh, e-commerce play. So online retail company delivering products to consumers across the world. So they're a they're a um, e-commerce in China company. And e-commerce is just booming. They just got a couple members on their board from Alibaba. Um, and they did that last year. So these are all-time highs for this company. It kind of just finally broke out here from the like 250 area. Uh, and I, I love my breakout stocks. So I'm going to grab a, a nice little uh, bit of uh, light in a box and start building a position in them because they seem like they're on the way up. Here's another um, 5G play. This 5G company is kind of, um, they're, they're, they're a Chinese 5G company. And um, they recently just went up 26%. And then they just said LM Funding just reported a 8.5% stake in them. And basically, um, they're setting up in China. I, you guys aren't going to be able to see this. That I'm reading you, but I'm going to read it to you because it's great information. Let me find it. The company signed an official agreement for a 5G industrial park in China. Borquis, I don't know how to say their name, reported that it signed with the board committee of Huzu South Taihu new area for the project. A joint venture will be set up in the area that will serve as Borquist China headquarters for 5G projects. This would add to the company's growing list of infrastructure projects signed in the third quarter. Borquist and St Sky Centrix previously announced plans for a joint venture for manufacturing and delivering uh, CTA 2045 technology-based products. So they're, they're getting in good with the Chinese government. Uh, 251 is just like I was scouting this company around like two. I just wanted to kind of see where they're going, and it looks like they're they're continuing their uptrend. So we really need to look out for 5G this this um this year, and this is one of the ones I'm gonna be heavy in on. So that concludes our top stocks video for this week. Um, thanks for listening, fam. See you later. Peace.